Welcome back everyone to Magius Plays Metroid Zero Mission. Last time we did a fairly good exploration of crates there, and left off right before heading in to face the big man himself. If you remember the original game, Metroid was a little bit puny, maybe a little difficult to deal with, but not too bad. That's not the case here. Here, Crate is just a big old bugger. And you really do not have much room to maneuver against him. And the only way to get them in here is, is, is off those fingernails he is constantly throwing at you. Yeah. As you can definitely see, they are not the easiest to hit where you want them to. So let's just get a few of these up, get it up right quick. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yep, just enough. And first part of that's ready to go. That wasn't too bad now, was it? And that gives us the Speed Booster. Oh, in other Metroid games? Well, in Super Metroid, where this was introduced, you had to hold down the dash button in order to gain speed. Here, not so much. This follows the formula established by Metroid Fusion. And you just need to move far enough and it activates. It looks like we just need to run straight through instead of trying to shine spark. And we just make things go boom. Yeah, nothing too interesting to explore there. So, clear the runway. And fail. 
clear the runway again. Spark. A rather fun thing to do in the game. And can get you a lot of areas you otherwise couldn't get to. Now. That's how you're supposed to do that. Now that's taken care of. There's one more corridor that we didn't look at. Or a couple corridors we didn't look at in here. Well, let's see what this speed booster can do for us. Before we head on to our next objective. Just take a look in here and see what we can find. Something that is inordinately painful. And something we can't get to quite yet. Looks like we can't get to it because we're supposed to come out from this side. Well, that's nice. Still. Ow. Well, let's just keep moving on, shall we? Pull this back over. save after that bit of a fiasco. Oh, we got more missiles for it. Which, that's always useful. And I think we're pretty well done here. I guess somebody heard that we were messing up the space prior to headquarters. That gives us a little bit of a clue for where we're supposed to go next. But first, it looks like we have another area to explore. Or at least another navigation point to pick up. Yeah, as suspected, we're going back to Norfair. I think I'm going to look around a little bit more in Brinstar first. And who knows what we might find there.
not much for us to see on the left. So we go to the right. Still can't get up to that thing, much as I'd like to. more to find up here. Let's see if we can go up here yet. Well, as a matter of fact, we can. Looks like there's a bit more up there that we can get to with a little bit of skill and timing. And that's not going to be terribly useful. At least not yet. Let's go back there and go through the door, shall we? This area where we got the various suit. Not sure we're actually supposed to get up here for a bit yet, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's try this again, shall we? That's not gonna do it. Nope. Note to self. Reveal the entry before freezing the guy. I'm going to be able to get that until I actually get the high jump boots as intended, so let's just keep exploring, shall we? There's the missile pack.
bit of a different way to get through here. And we actually can't go that way. Yeah, I'm not getting that yet. If nothing else, there's something to say, be said for a whole lot of missiles, so let's go the way they actually intend us to go. way and into Norfair. with this guy again. I think he's just going to be a pain throughout in the I don't remember him being that hard to deal with, but whatever. into Norfair, where we should be able to get further this time, but we'll save that for next time. For now, I think I'm going to call it a day. So until next time, folks, um, for until next time, Magius out. <laughs>